Hmm, I wonder if we have use for you, Genevieve. I know I might. For baby making. Hello everybody, Gray still plays, and we're back with more villagers. No time for BS! We just got into the swampland, and we have to build a town hall. But where to build it? Let's take a look at the layout of the swamp real quick. Uh, looks like we have a couple of crappy ponds of delicious swamp water. And a watery basin over here. I think I'm gonna build it by this, like, weird watery basin. Just because, I don't know. I think it's, I, I don't know if there's eventually, like, attacks on the village and stuff like that. And I'd like to have something at our back that we can defend. Let's go ahead and build it a little bit away so that the town hall can be extended because I saw there are town hall extensions. Oh, look at our minions! We have additional ones. Oh, are those wolves? Oh, there's wolves! That's pretty cool. I imagine we'll be like getting attacked by them or hunting them eventually, so it's a good thing that I built it way over here. Actually, what's in this forest land? All right, actually, it looks pretty quiet over here, so that was a good choice. Let's go ahead and fast forward things and allow them to the complete the town hall. Holy crap, that was fast. I'm telling you, I'm tingling. My fingers are itching. I can barely stand it. Perhaps you should think about washing your gloves again, Schultheis. Rubbish. I'm talking about my urge to hunt. It's been ages since I last went out. What I'd give to be able to swiftly slice the fluffy fur off of tender meat of a... Oh my god. The poor bunnies. All right, I get it. That's just too much information for me. Do you want to start fishing again? In this swamp, I'd rather boil my own boots for supper. And anyway, I, started, I already started growing scales from the amount of fish I was eating in the last settlement. Sheld Ice is just talking rubbish again. Have I told you before, dear Jacqueline, that I grew up in a fishing village? That would explain why you like fish so much. Sheld Ice has never been fishy eating slithery sea creatures, though. I understand. So it's time to start eating game. You'll need a hunting hide. That's what I was trying to say. A hunting hide wouldn't just be good for me, but also for your food supply. Mm -hmm. Oh, a hunting hide. What is that? Let's go ahead and click on this and take a look. I imagine it's in production, maybe? Ah, okay. It's a building of sorts. So we have to start gathering. Let's go ahead and gather all. Let's hold down shift and scroll our wheel and get everything in the area. I don't want to go too far over because that's where the wolves were and I'm not sure that they are super happy about us being here, I imagine. There we are. That should get everyone moving. We'll go ahead and right click to get rid of our circle of yellow greatness. Build a hunting hide. Very well, we shall do so. Let's go ahead and fast forward so that our workers can begin getting all the stone and trees that they need for our wonderful secondary village. Oh, something new is available. Oh wow, we got those trees right away. Let's go ahead and put this, uh, we'll put it right about here. There we are. And we'll fast forward a little bit so that it gets built right away. I assume we're going to have to assign people to this building just like the fishers, the fisherman jetty. Come on, guys. Yeah! That's it, baby! Look at it. Oh, it's like a tree stand. But, like, with an area to, I guess, dry meat? Employ hunters. The hunting blind also needs hunters to be assigned. I can do this easily from within the town hall by making two workers become hunters. Accolade hunters. Let's do that right now. Oh, we have 14 minions! Two of you will now become hunters. Enjoy that. Oh, we can build an extent. What does it look like? Upgrade building. You won't be able to use this building until its extension is finished. Oh, then no. Let's not do that right now. We've built a hunting hide. I can't wait to finally have a big piece of juicy wild boar oh, for dinner again. Gray Master McGray, we should build a forester's lodge. It would mean we could gather wood for building new houses much quicker. It's starting to get really chilly. So we desperately need them. All right, that sounds like a good plan there. Do you think so? Shouldn't we consider building homes instead? It's beginning to get cold. Oh, Gray Master McGray, that's why we need the lodge. 
There's hardly enough trees in this swamp to build a settlement. We need to plant new trees right away. The forester will be planting new trees around the lodge. This will provide us with enough wood to build our village. Something new is available. I imagine it's the forester lodge. It is. Oh no, two laborers are ill. Son of a bitch. Did the plague follow us? What? Don't tell me they've got the plague. Oh, no, no, sorry. Well, thanks, Ewalt, for making me sad. I didn't want to give you a scare, but they both drank from the swamp and are more concerned with their stomachs than their work at the moment. The water from the swamp seems to be terribly unhealthy. It's certainly nothing like fresh water, and it doesn't taste very nice either. Mmm, that delicious swamp water. I like to gargle it in the morning. We should dig a well. Water from deep within the earth is much more drinkable. Look at those flies circling, circling the surface of the swamp. They're huge! Mighty suspicious if you ask me. Okay, so we can build a well. We'll go ahead and build that next to our hunting thingy. I don't really know what else to call it. And once that is done, let's see, we've got quite a bit of wood and stone. So, let's see, what else can we build? Can we build a hunt, the hunting hut, or not the hunting hut, the forester lodge, here we are. Oh, wow. I'm guessing that giant circle is kind of like where it plants trees, so let's not make it by the swamp, because I, I, I imagine the game won't allow trees to grow there, and I imagine they won't allow it to grow right on the town hall. So let's build it right about here. Because that will make trees in this big area where we know trees can, draw, can grow for certain at the very least. And we've got additional quests here. Dig a well, build a forester's lodge. Okay, well everyone should be doing that. Let's go ahead and fast forward. Oh, it's getting built. It's getting built. Oh, that's cool. There's actually stages, different stages of like build progress. I like that. Here we go, let's watch it as the final pieces of stone and wood are laid. Bring it over, Simon. Is that your name? Simon. All right, I was getting a little too new age with my pronunciation. Here we go, should be one last piece of brick. It's you, sir. You will Balt, will bait, will something. What is your name? Will Balt. Do it. Do it. The building yes. Oh, yeah. I never thought a game could make me so happy. Much safer to go to a well than to our local stream. Our local swamp in this case. You have finished a quest. We have finished a quest, and I imagine we need to assign foresters. Oh, let's go ahead and slow things down. So can you assign foresters from the actual building? You can. Okay, so you can do everything from the town hall, or you can do it from here. Let's go ahead and assign two foresters. Bastion and Ella, you are now foresters. And it looks like there's different building functionalities here too. Forester work mode will either only plant new trees, plant and log trees equally, or just log trees. Okay, that's neat. It looks like we're doing both right now, and let's continue to do that. Can you hear this, Grey Master McGray? What are you talking about, Schultheis? I can't hear anything unusual. Right, that's it. It's... Just this soft whispering, singing between the trees, sparse and parched as they are in this swamp, like a humming of nature. But this is going to end right now. The Forester Lodge is done and ready. The harsh sound of falling axes will soon make the skinny twigs shake and shiver. Schultheis, you are a poet hard on words. Grey Master McGray could now plan and cut wood. Plant trees and cut wood. It would mean he had material for building new homes. Wait a second, dear Jacqueline. Don't trees need years and years to grow to a suitable size? That is a damn good point, Ursula. I was thinking the same thing. Oh, game. How you enjoy breaking the fourth wall. Well, yes. Hey, I need to cut to the chase, okay? I actually don't have a clue where Great Master McGray got the wood for new houses so quickly. So... I'm just going to say that he planted trees. Yeah, right, let me guess. Using your artistic license? Indeed I am. Trees grow so quickly in Grey Master McGray's story. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, that's actually what she says. Very well. Whatever you say. Yeah, finished the quest. Grey Master McGray was starting to put aside his frustration about having to abandon the village. He began to fully concentrate 
on building this new settlement with all of the new knowledge he had gained. Oh, who is this strapping young lass? Jennif? Gen Jennifer? I'm not sure how you pronounce that. I I'm pretty sure that's a woman. It's most unusual to find a settlement in the midst of an abandoned swampland. I presume you're in charge of this community? Excuse me. To what do I owe the pleasure? The pleasure of still not having a plaque big enough to contain my name. My name is Jennifer. I'm going to call her that. I'm a scout passing through. Please excuse my honesty, but seeing a young man in such a position of authority, well, it's such a surprise. Oh, Jennifer, you should see how well I lay down logs. Please, there's no need to be so formal. I, I can only reciprocate your surprise. A scout moving through the country so freely. It's just as unusual to find an independent woman like you traveling alone nowadays. Well, it wouldn't be much of an advantage for me to stay near the war zone. I'm looking for new employers, though. Somewhere further south. Hmm, I wonder if we have use for you, Jennifer. I know I might. For baby making. You must have been traveling for a long time. Wouldn't you like to stay and have a rest here? I'm happy to offer you a place to sleep. Thank you, but I must decline. At the moment, I'm finding it hard to rest easy in one place, especially in a swamp. I'm surprised that it doesn't worry you. We're planning on moving to the southwest in the spring. With all of our people in luggage, it would be impossible to do so in the winter. The cold air of the mountains would eat us alive. That makes sense. They looked at each other for a moment. As they exchanged glances without saying a word, it became obvious to them that they liked each other a lot. Oh, it's just like high school. My dear Grey Master McGray, I'd like to help you and make you an offer if you provide me with some provisions for my journey. I will head to the mountains and look for a suitable path for you. You'd do that for us? We'd be eternally grateful in these turbulent times. You can never have enough friends. This is why we should help each other. I promise to return at the beginning of spring. What? Villagers are attacked by wild animals? What the hell's going on? Where? How? Why? Where's their wild animals? Where are wild, where are wild animals at? Is it just telling me that or is it happening? How are you guys doing? Where can we see our men? Oh, we still have 14 people, so I think everything's fine. Right? Do we have more do we have any more quests to do? Doesn't look like we do. I guess we can just start like building extensions and stuff now. Is there any more stone we can get? Oh, there is some. Let's go ahead and continue gathering all. We'll go ahead and get all this. Oh, there's a ton of stone over here. Holy crap. A merchant is visiting your village. Oh, what does that mean? What is this? Oh, it's just it's just our people moving about. Oh, what's going on in this hunter's other oh, their haunches of meat? I guess it's like to dry meat and stuff. It looked like a it looked like a tree stand, but I guess it's to look out like a little lookout post, and then it dries meat. Let's see. I I assume we should probably build some homes. We don't have any built yet at all. Let's go ahead and do that. Because the game isn't telling us to do anything else specifically. We will build these homes. Let's see. Build them right in front of the town hall. Put one... There. Oh! The merchant needs a free spot at the warehouse to trace his goods. He will leave early and won't pay gold if he can't find one. At the warehouse? Do we have a warehouse? What does that mean? Oh. We can put a person in charge of a warehouse. So... Uh, maybe that does something? I'm not really sure. The tutorial is very good, but it doesn't tell us much about that. Let's keep building new houses, though. Right about... How close can we make this? Right about... Yeah. And then another one, right about... Yeah? Yes, I know, these aren't perfectly aligned, I'm not that OCD. But I doubt that back in the day, people were so specific to make like little roadways and streets and have everything perfectly aligned anyway. A new merchant is arriving. 
A merchant is willing to trade on a marketplace. Okay, the merchant needs a free spot at the warehouse to, to trade his goods. He will leave early and won't pay you gold if he can't find one. All right. So he buys and sells the different resources. Oh, that's cool. Here we go. I guess, like, this is our little trade area, maybe? Yeah, that's got to be it. And then our warehouser is probably the guy that, like, moves stuff around. So, do, do all these have extensions as well? What is this? Normal hunting. Your hunters will never decimate the population of wild animals or aggressive hunting. Your hunter will hunt everything they see and guarantee food until all type of animal populations are decimated. Oh my god! Oh, there's plenty of wolves. Oh, it looks like there's some deer. Oh, look at all these different animals! Gray Master McGray, this simply can't carry on. We've been attacked by animals so many times. I like my meat dead and on my dinner plate and not slinking around our houses hungry for a bite of a villager. Wild animals are more devious and patient than you think. Every day they'll get a little bolder in their attempt to satisfy their hunger. That sends shivers down my spine. What can we do about it? Can't we build a protective wall? Wall? What cod swallop? We need more hunters. Hire more hunters and we'll make sure the animals stay away. Let's go ahead and slow this down. How do we hire more hunters? I need to build another hunting hide to make life easier for Schultheis and his hunters to keep the wild animals away. Oh, okay. So we just have to build another one. I think that's under production. Hunting hide. There we go. And we'll put... I guess we'll put this one right by the first one. There. That should do it. Now we have actually quite a bit of stuff being built right now. We've got... A bunch of houses. I wonder if you can focus everything on a building. Oh, you can. You can actually pause. You can actually pause your buildings. So that they focus on something else. That's really neat. See, that's another good part of the game. These are some of the things in the game that I like that they put in. I'm really, I'm really glad to have this feature, actually. Let's go ahead and fast forward. Get everyone to sleep. It's another night of jocularity, I think they call it. And they should be building this. Yes, yes, lay down those logs. Put that stone together. Although I think it's just wood for this. And the final wood should be incoming. Let's go ahead and fast forward just a little bit should be here any moment. Oh, there's a log, boys and girls. Is that going to be it? No. Needs a little bit more. Another log. Another log. Yes. Come on. One last log. Do it. Do it. No, don't go to sleep. Yes. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. Put some hunters in that, baby. Boom! Julia and Simone enjoy being trained as hunters. I don't like the idea that Grey Master McGray had to kill so many wild animals. Well, nature knows no mercy. And out there in the wilderness, somewhere in this swamp, well, humans are just... Humans just yeah, make for easy quest. prey. I may be a simple hunter, and I don't pretend, pretend to know much about building a village. But I'd say you've already laid some good foundations. Well, thank you, Schultheis! However... I can't shake my guilty conscience about killing the animals. And those slain wolves, it's more dead meat than we can eat. I have to admit that even I'm starting to think that this aggressive behavior is suspicious. Wolves only attack if they can't see another outcome. Yes, it's almost as if they're being driven by a mysterious power. Oh, come off it. Don't be superstitious. It's unusual, but not supernatural. Keep your crazy thoughts to yourself. Cool little tidbit about wolves, folks. Did you know that when wolves are hunting in a pack, if even one single member of the pack has the potential to be harmed, they will not attack. Wolves will only attack when they know for sure that they have the best possible chances of winning in an outcome and having no one getting hurt or killed. I think that's pretty cool how how thoughtful they are of each other. At this point in time, Schultheis had no idea that future events would make even him doubt his sanity. Oh, what's going to happen? 
A cold period's harsh results should indeed be burdening our friends during the next days. That... Ursel? Why are you scrunching your nose? Scrunching? No, it was just itching. A chew. Oh my, are you about to get a cold? Maybe sitting in a pub and drinking beer is not the best thing to do then. I'm just allergic to bad advice, Jekyllin. Ha! And snappy. But as Ewalt and his friends were soon to find out, a witty tongue can't protect you from the cold. Ah, chew, says Ewalt. Whoa, have you got a cold? Unfortunately, yes, I caught it from one of our workers. Now that it's winter, the flu has been going around. Man, I know all about the flu, that sucks. You need to be prepared for workers being off sick. Isn't a cold like a woman? Oh, I feel a good, a good analogy coming along. Hmm? What do you mean? Well, the easier you get her, the harder it is to get rid of her. <laughs> it was wise to follow my advice, Grey Master McGray. Settling here in the swamplands was the right decision. Venlin, you're back! In your absence, various problems have come along our way. The flu attacked from wild animals. My villager's morale diminishes every day. Oh, I need to unpause these, actually. Because this should be going while I'm talking a bunch to you all. Continue building, my men and women. Has it been too much for you? I had a feeling that something like this might happen, so I brought along an old friend. I'd like to introduce you to the monk, Jeremias. Bless you, my child. Benlin has told me about your predicament. May I recommend building a pharmacy and a chapel? Both would help your villagers keep body and soul healthy. A clergyman is very welcome. Is a very welcome addition to our community, but perhaps we should tell Schultheis not to swear so much in the future. He's a bit of a potty mouth. Don't worry. Give him three flagons of ale, and Benlin will swear like a dried out sailor. Jeremiah, please! Benlin, who was half smiling and half embarrassed by the end of the conversation, didn't say why, but told his fellow villagers he had to leave again. The king had summoned him and needed his help. Ooh, let's go ahead and slow things down, because we have new quests to do. And those quests are build a chapel and build a pharmacy. Jeremiah has recommended building a chapel to help the settlers, settlers cope with their troubles. I'm sure a chapel would help us build a community. All right. And the pharmacy, the ill among us desperately need medicine so that we can get strong and healthy for the winter. I need to build a pharmacy as quickly as possible and send some of my people out to find healing herbs. All right. That seems pretty cool. We've got some new quests. We've got some things to build. Our town is coming right along so cool this game is really neat oh there's a little message board there and now we actually have some different items out for merchants should they come to our village guys i hope you're enjoying villagers so far this is quite enjoyable for me actually so i can only hope that you're having as much fun as well other than that stay foxy and much love